Hey, good morning. Hi, how's everybody doing this morning? Today being Monday, uh, December 3rd. We're already into the 12th month of the year. But anyway, welcome to Breakfast with Brian. I'm Brian Barolo, and this is my kitchen. And welcome. Join me for breakfast. Today I'm going to be making a juice from scratch. Uh, like I love to do, top of the week, I went and got a bunch of fruit. I'll talk about that in a minute. That's a whole other subject. But anyway, uh, I'm going to start out with the uh, navel oranges. I'm putting these into my uh, pitcher to mix up my juice. I got a couple of little clementines. Put that in there. I'm going to take an apple. A very simple little deal here. Whoa, that, was a, that apple squirted at me. How about that? Pretty crazy. Uh, so anyway, there's my apple core. There you go. It's in there. Hey, people starting to pop on. Hey, ja Jasmine and Pete, how's it going? And uh, let's see what else I got here. Let me just take a little bit of the center core of the uh, apple out because it didn't core perfectly centered, but that's okay. I just cut a little bit of this core out so I don't put it in my juice, my preference. There we go. All right, next I have a, uh, what do you call these guys here? I forget what they're called. Papaya. I have a little papaya here. I'm going to cut this and core it and uh, put some of this into my juice today. I've got orange, two different oranges, and I got an apple. So let me just take a chunk of this. Put this baby in there. Kind of young. It's not completely ripe. I wish it was a little bit more ripe, but... That was my choice to take it, not let it ripen up, but hey, what can I say? So what I do is I core all the seeds out. I don't eat those seeds. I don't know if they are edible or not. I never really researched them. I just like the papaya itself a little bit to put in my juice. It gives a nice little flair. It's a different consistency to mix up with the other stuff that I put in there. Okay, now I got to skin this baby here. So all I do is just... Take a knife or a potato peeler and just skin it. Now, the, uh, as they get more riper, they will get more red or pinkish rather than like the skin right now. I mean, the meat, the flesh is kind of yellowish here. You can see that. As compared to the center, that you want it to be a little bit more like that color there. It's a little bit better. It'll be more ripe. It won't be as tough. But I mean, I'm mixing mine into a juice, so I'm kind of grinding it up to nothing anyway, so. Anybody out there, do you guys do juice? Do you do fresh juice? Do you do fruit? Do you do smoothies? You take uh, fruit, juice, and put it in with ice or something, maybe? Hey, I don't. I like to just say, Bill, uh, I just like to make my juice. I like to take the fresh fruit, and I like to make my juice and have it in the morning. That's what works best for me. Everybody's a little different. I myself cannot handle uh, citrus like at night. I think it's because of the acids that are in my stomach and how my stomach reacts. Or everybody's system is a little bit different. We're not all we're all individuals, so you know, depending on the acids and so forth that your body can handle, or what's in your stomach and so forth. It will depend on how much fruit do you actually do. Me, I like to do fruit. I love fruit. I like to do fruit every single day. I just chop this up into pieces. It makes it easier for combining in there. Okay. Next, I'm going to do uh, some strawberries. This is what I want to bitch about, like these... Uh, I go to produce junction, that would be a whole other subject, but you got to be careful of the fruit. It's pre-packaged, and uh, I got strawberries here. Now, they are cheaper. They do sell in bulk, but you might also get bad ones. You don't want that. That's disgusting. Isaiah, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pick through here, pick a few strawberries. Hopefully, there's no more mold or bad berries. I don't want to take a whole bad batch of strawberries. So I'm going to take a few and I'll uh, put those to the side there real quick. So 
I'm gonna do is gonna rinse these real quick, and then I'm gonna cut the tops off and put them in. Every piece of fruit's got, you know, something you gotta cut off of it. You know, the core, the top, the leaves, if there's branches, whatever. They're all something that every piece of fruit has to have something that you have to get rid of because it grows outside and not everything is edible. So me, I tend to uh, use as much of everything as I can. I just don't like wasting. Some of the fruits, you know, they're getting old. Like this one's getting old, but it's not too old. So it's, I consider it still good, but that's my choice, right? You know, you might see something, some people, like my neighbor next door, I grow a lot of vegetables and stuff, and if it has little bug bites in it or spots from a bug being in it, he won't touch it. Hey, Mike, how's it going? People keep popping up. So you have to make your own decisions, you know? Is this bad that I don't want to eat this little bit that's on this strawberry? I'll just scrape it off. I'll get down to a certain point, and some stuff I will eat with a lot of it is just is there it's just it's growing it's it's maturing hey kate morning okay next i'm gonna do my uh pineapple i love pineapple pineapple is so good it's so good for your stomach it's just it's really good for your digestion i think it's good not everybody will agree with me but there's my little pineapple core i'm gonna Take this puppy and put it in the corner of my sink here. It makes it easier for me to hold it. And you can't quite see it, but maybe I'll help. Still can't see it, but I'll do it on the side. Still can't see it. There we go. So this baby, you got to cut the top so this fits. That's why I had to do a second cut on it. But I wouldn't be able to get the tool down into the pineapple because the top of the pineapple is a little bit tighter and smaller than the rest of the pineapple because it starts and comes like a bell sort of so you got to cut it down a certain point so you can get this piece in to get the core and that's exactly what i'm doing screw it right on down it feels like i hit the bottom okay you get a container here put my pineapple in a little lid and we'll continue Okay, now I'm just gonna pull this baby out. And slowly but surely, see it lifting out. There we go. Okay, now it's not the freshest pineapple, because I have some bad stuff that I have to cut out, which is unfortunate. So, I went on a Sunday, I went yesterday, and it just seems like that the, the uh, Fruits older. I gotta figure out exactly when do they uh, supply the stores. Maybe Sunday was the end of the week, and it's just the leftover stuff from last week. So some of it's not the best. I'm gonna have to pick through each and every piece to make sure that I get stuff that I do not want on there. Nope, sorry, I don't mean to cut my head off. Okay, now we're back to picking pineapple. But I gotta get some of this crap up that I don't like. It starts to get tough. It doesn't taste as good. It's not quite as fresh. Any bad parts? I don't want them. So there's some little pieces here and there. And how much time you want to spend on doing all this is is mainly the choice you have to make. Because this could take a long time. It could take very quickly. The more you do, the longer it's going to take. Okay, I'm getting a full picture here. I think I'm going to be overflowing before I know it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grind this down a little bit and then I'm going to start adding a couple other things like grapes and blueberries just to color it up. Let's see what we end up with this right now. Nice big thing of fruit. Breaking it down big time. It is a serious fruit. Fruit drink, fruit juice. Okay, getting down pretty good. 
Now the picture is only half full now. We're getting there. We're getting there where, where I actually want to be. So, okay, I'm going to, since I pick up all this different food, I like to mix it all. I just, I'm one of those people who likes varieties. And uh, I just really, really like it. Now I have to, I have intolerances to certain fruits. I have to be careful. And uh, blueberries is one of them. So I don't do them that often. I do them every so often. A little bit more in the summer maybe, but even so, I still don't do blueberries that often. I don't like those intolerances. Even though I miss having blueberries and they're really good for you. Antioxidants are incredible. And that's uh, one of the main things I do this fruit for is because of the health factors, the antioxidants and everything. It's just, you can't go wrong. All right, so I'm putting quite a bit of blueberries in here. I haven't had them and I want this to be one of the bases, so. Okay, there's my blueberries. Now I got one more thing. I got some black grapes. I'm gonna add some black grapes to uh, my juice here. And we'll uh, go from there. I'm gonna pick them all off. It's more of a pain in the butt than the rest of it. The rest of the stuff because you're gonna go through each and every single grape. Make sure that you take the stems out. Now, some people say, well, why are you mixing grapes and blueberries? Why not? Why am I mixing pineapple and apple? They both got apple in them, <laughs> right? So, and berries are berries, but they all have different flavors and all have different attributes. And I like the black grapes. And grapes have really high in antioxidants. If you don't, if you don't know that already, I mean, many people will. I don't mean to repeat stuff and bore people with things that I do and what have you. But it's really important to me to get my juice and. I like to do the juice fresh from fresh fruit. That's simple, but it does take time. So you gotta look at the grapes. That was a bad one right there. It was just deformed. It wasn't, it didn't grow correctly. So I'm not using it. I don't wanna have to cut it, a, a one grape into pieces to take a little bit out of it. Okay, there we go. I got some grapes in there now. Okay, so I got blueberries, straw, blueberries, strawberries, papaya, grapes, pineapple, two kinds of orange. It's kind of orange is orange, but there's two different types of oranges in there, and an apple. This is my big seven for the day, my seven fruits for the day. How about that? I can start something else right here. Okay, let me go mix her up here and see where we're at. because it's too thick so I gotta add some things let me get my other processed juices I don't really like using processed juices but I will use a little bit of it let's get to over here so I can show you what I'm doing here as my flour is natural I add this stuff to help thin it out so I can makes it more drinkable okay there's that, and I'm doing cran pomegranate. Just picked it up yesterday. Oh, wait, wrong side, sorry. Cran pomegranate. I like doing all these different antioxidants. It helps build your immune system. It gets you really, really strong healthy-wise. Health-wise, excuse me. And, uh, okay, in addition to, I'm going to do some flaxseed. Almost out of the flaxseed, but I got another one or two juices out of that. And I'm going to do a touch of chia seeds. Again, I can't stress enough how much these chia seeds absorb all your juice and fluid or whatever you put in there. So you do not want to put much at all. Because then the next day, you got to thin your juice out again. Okay, let's see how bad we're going to overflow. 
It's a full, 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 full container. Yeah, we're overflowing. That's okay. My house. I'll clean it up. And there is my juice. You're going to see it be poured in a minute. And again, Brian Barolo always starts his day with water. It's the inside shower for all my organs. Cheers. Now it's funny how some people don't drink water at all, but water is the essence of life. Hey, morning, Rich. Um, so anyway, here's my juice. Seven, seven fruits and a little bit of juice and seed to put in there. It's looking good, nice and thick. Mmm. Very fruity. How about that? Very fruity. Okay, let me keep going here. Something else I always do. I do my supplements. I do a Centrum Silver and I do a Turmeric supplement. So I do these two supplements is all I do. I'm on zero meds. I have no uh, prescriptions or anything. On occasion, I'll take some Advil. Other than that, I just do these two little supplements and that's what I've been doing for years. And I uh, stay pretty damn healthy. So cheers to you. My supplements. Mm. Definitely a little different tasting. Can't figure out. It's a combination of things. I can't figure out. It's really weird. I was going to say almost like a nutty flavor, but there's no nutty just in there. And I don't know, but it's really good. It's something different. I've never actually had that combination to give me that flavor. It's it's not like all apple or all orange or what I did last week. This is really good. This is like different. I don't know if it's because of the papaya or the mix of the grapes and the blueberries in there, maybe. I don't know. It's weird, but I'll take it. And I'll drink it. And it's damn good. Okay, we'll keep going here. I am just doing something simple. I'm doing my everything bagel. It's got everything on it. I'm cleaning a little bit of onion and garlic flavor in there, which kind of throws people off on breakfast. It does me, but I'm doing my uh, my dark almond roast. Dark roast almond uh, with butter on it. So cheers to you. Mm. A lot of sweet time, but it's good. It's really good. Okay. Today, it's one of those days we've been waiting for. I guess I'm in the mid-Atlantic, and it's cold. Today, it's going to hit 50, low 50s, probably. The sun's supposed to be out most of the day. We'll see if it is. We're going to get sun and clouds like normal, and it's been shitty weather for, like, most of the summer and the fall, and here we're into winter. We're still getting shitty weather. We're still getting a lot of rain. How am I supposed to clean up the yard with all that rain? It doesn't work like that. It just it really, really doesn't. Because it's that time of year. Finally, the leaves have come down. Some did earlier. They've been coming down for months now, but they're not done. I still got a tree and my neighbor, two neighbors over. It's a huge oak or something. Still has some leaves on it. I cleaned my whole front yard when his tree next door got done shaking all its leaves off. I got the front yard done. There's a little bit out there that's going to happen from the winds. In the back, there's a pine tree over here. It just got done dropping all its thistles everywhere all over my backyard, and that's their house. And two houses over on this side, there's that oak tree. It still has some leaves. Now, wait, I thought fall, everything fell. We're into winter now. Well, not quite winter. I think we have another two weeks before we actually hit uh, winter solstice or whatever it is. But it's been down below freezing and down in the 20s, and leaves are still up on the trees. Come on. So I still got to go clean up out back. So I got to gather all that crap out back, <laughs> and I have to either throw it in the trash. I have to... Uh, you know, grind it up and uh, turn it into mulch with my wood 
chips and pieces, which I will do a lot of that anyway. Or I have to gather it all, take it out front, and put it out on the front of my fence. And the township I'm, I'm in has a truck and a big trailer and a guy that sits on it with a big giant hose. And they go around and they suck up all the leaves and they go around the neighborhood. And they do this for a few weeks. I think they start right before Thanksgiving and they end now. I don't know if they're even going to come around this week. But yet there's still leaves on trees. People still haven't cleaned up all their yards. There's a lot of leaves that get sucked up. And the township only does this pickup for so many weeks and then they stop. I've gotten caught on this in years past. So I'll take everything from the back. I'm going to try to do it today since it's warmer and sunny and I'm going to do more of my outdoor activities. Get it done before we start getting into the cold weather again. I got to gather all that stuff, bring it out front, and drop it, and hope and pray that they're not done picking up. I guess I can call or go online and look and see when they're going to be done picking up. Well, I don't know what street they go and by what street and when they finish. You know, townships are big, and every individual street and house has to be attended to. So it is what it is. But where I'm at is I'm ready to of a tri point, meaning I am. I'm another Providence Township, but across the street is Upper Providence Township. And to the right of my house, three houses, is Media, Borough. So it's funny how another Providence Township has the truck and they suck all the stuff up as long as you put it out front. Media does the same thing, but Upper Providence does not. Everybody across the street has to put all their leaves and everything into bags. And then they put the bags out and then they come around and they pick up the bags. I don't know if it's garbage that picks up the bags or if they take the bags and recycle the leaves into mulch or what. I don't know what they do. I'm not in that township. I don't really care, but I'm just curious about that. But anyway, like I said, today being a perfect day, if the weather's right where you live, <laughs> to do all your yard cleanup. If you couldn't get it over the weekend, I couldn't because it rained on Saturday and it rained on Sunday. So how was I going to clean up all that stuff? So I'm putting work to the side and I'm going out today and give it my all and get the rest of this crap out front. Hopefully they can get it cleaned up and get my yard cleaned up for the rest of the winter, hopefully. Now I know that there's still that one tree that still has leaves on it. Most of them are gone, but it still has some. So when I do the all cleanup, you will say my yard looks great, looks nice, good job. And then tomorrow, there's gonna be some leaves laying around. What do you do? It's very, very frustrating. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna give it my best spot, my best. I'm just gonna give it my best try to <laughs> clean everything up and not worry about the rest. If there's anything left over after they're done picking up, and I'm not gonna be able to put them out front to get rid of them, then I'm either gonna have to bag them, trash them, or mulch them, which is what I will do and put all that into my gardens. Sounds like the proper thing to do. But since I'm one of those people and I'm very active with my my earth, my ground, my space, I'm very active with wood and mulching. Uh, with mulching the, the wood, I'll do the leaves and everything with it. I don't usually do grass clippings either, but it's natural. It comes from nature. I think if you have the opportunity to gather all that and put it back into nature, you should. Um, but to be proper within your society, you must clean up your yard, yard cleanup. Get it done before we get into these deep freezes where you're not going to be able to pick these leaves up and get them off your yard when your grass is freezing and you got leaves everywhere. It looks like shit. I'm sorry to say it, but it does. Clean it up so you'll feel good about it because you have a nice clean yard. People are impressed with that. So good luck to you. I hope everybody can get out there and get their yards cleaned up before the deep freezes start to settle in. So let's see who a bunch of other people are on here. And scroll right down. Hey, Ralph and Tina, Dave, and everybody else. So, um, okay, I'm all done with that. Yard cleanup, get it done if you can, especially when there's a break in the weather. Uh, it's tough to use the blower when the leaves are wet. So, do you rake? Wear your gloves so you don't get blisters in your fingers because you will get those blisters from raking all the time. Wear gloves. These are good things to do. Wear your gloves and you rake, and or if it's dry enough, you can use your blower and just blow everything like I do. I blow everything to the front and blow it out on the front and let them come and pick it up. That's what I found to be the easiest for me. Okay, thank you very much for joining me here at Breakfast with Brian. Ten things are going to be you are going to be grateful for, happy for, thankful for today.
I'm thankful that I got up a little bit earlier. I'm thankful that I already walked my dog and vet my cats. I'm thankful I went and picked up all the dog shit and I put it out, I'll put all the trash out for the trash to come and pick up. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for people hanging out and having breakfast with me. I'm thankful that I got all this fruit and I have such a great fruit juice to start my day. I'm thankful for my supplements. It's very easy to be thankful for all kinds of things. This will help make your day a lot better. Okay, pick three people to share some love with. Share a little love with three people. It doesn't matter who it is. It could be that kid that pissed you off last week at work and you're chewing at the bit. It ate you up all weekend. Well, that's no good for you or the people in your life. So you will learn to get past these things. Let it go. Today's a new day. Come in and start fresh. Share a little love. Be nice. Wish somebody a good day. Have a nice day. Oh, beautiful morning. Great to see you. You know what I mean? Just share a little bit of love. I do it by wishing everybody and anyone a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Very simple. Do that. Three people at least. Before the end of the day, you'll be sharing love with a dozen people. Who knows? Okay. Last thing is what I believe is within the people within your household to share one to two positive comments or compliments to kind of keep positivity going in within your household. This is your castle, it's your domain, the place where you live and other people might share with you. So share positivity with each other. It helps bring alive a good, good, happy life. This is part of getting happiness, right? So 10 things I'm grateful for today, three people I'm gonna share some love with, and the one to two positive comments and compliments of people within my household. Okay, right now it's my dog and my cat. Later on, I have somebody else coming over. I'll share some compliments with them. All right, so anyway, everybody, you take care. Get a chance. Get your yard clean up before the deep freezes start hitting, and be productive today. So I can say, have a great day, and share some love with some other people, and be grateful for everything that you can come across. All right, you all have an awesome, awesome Monday day today, and we'll see you down the road. All right? You all take care now. Bye-bye.